Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Ernest Owens. My, I do beg your pardon. Um, Ernest Owens, thank you very much indeed for joining me. And now, I don't know much about you other than you wrote a piece last week for Rolling Stone magazine saying uh, cancel culture is good for democracy. So I'm going to come to that ludicrous premise in a minute. Uh, but I also remember you tweeting when I uh, left Good Morning Britain uh, a series of tweets calling me a racist, including enjoying how folks keep getting Piers Morgan together for his racist tirades against Meghan Markle on Good Morning Britain. I was just curious... Could you, could you remember a single racist thing that I said about her or have ever said about her? Well, thank you for having me on, Pierce. I was surprised when I uh, found out I would be on your show. We're an uncensored show, Ernest. We take, we take all types on here. My, I, I, well, all types. Well, there you go. Um, but I, I think really a lot of it just seemed to be biased. I think that you was really just harsh on... on you know, the Duchess of Sussex. And I think there was a little bit of bias in the way that you had really gone after her. Yeah, but Ernest, to be and, clear, you know, I, I, I didn't ask you about that. I just said, what were the racist tirades? What what racist thing have I ever said about Meghan Markle? I'm curious. You, you, you tweeted quite a few times that I was a racist. I'm just curious, what was the no, racism? I said, I said your remarks, I said your remarks was racist. I what didn't say they? verbatim what were the remarks that, that were you were racist. racist. I think that it's biased. I think that you had a, sen a sense of bias of how you were speaking about her and how you was really being insensitive to her mental yeah, health sorry, and being, how you being biased a lot of her concerns. Being biased or sceptical of some of her claims yes. is not the same as being racist. What yes. was the thing I said that was no, racist? No, I, I never... Hold on. Do you want the person of colour to speak or do you want to just talk over me? Nothing to do with your skin colour, Ernest. Is... Sorry, nothing to do with your skin colour. I don't care if you're black or white or okay. well, anything I mean, else. It's just, it's I just want you to try and tell me, given you tweeted to your many followers repeatedly... Are you going to By the way, repeatedly, you did this repeatedly, you have called me a racist repeatedly for racist things I've said about Meghan Markle. I said you made racist I remarks, want you to, I did not call you a racist. to stand by what you tweeted. What was it I said about Meghan Markle? I, I am. Can, would ever, you let me talk? Ever that's been racist? Are you going to let me talk or are you just going to over-talk me? Just answer the I think question. Stop that's asking a, different that's questions. A, that's microaggression. You're asking a black person to explain how what you did could be perceived as racist, and rather than let me finish talking, you're over-talking me and being highly defensive. Am I being racist again, So I feel again, like a Ernest? dog is hollering right now. Am I being racist again? I'm uh, can, you're being dismissive. Can, can I actually talk? Or Maybe because you're, you're not answering the question, Because what's the point of you on the show? Okay, so can I answer the question? Yes, Pierce? you can. Please do. OK, thank you. OK. So your targeting of Meghan Markle's mental health, gaslighting her specifically, calling to question the legitimacy of her claims about the royal family being racist, you dismissing those claims, you consistently having a sense of badgering her and targeting her, it, it felt like on my end that there was some racial bias there. Now, you may feel like it's not. Maybe it's sexism. Maybe it's misogynoir. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a combination of both her gender and her race. But it was perceived by thousands of people. 57,000 people had called Good Morning Britain about some of your behavior. No, you see, you and see, you've got to be very careful, Ernest. mischaracterizing Ernest. the situation on Fox. Ernest. You, you act like it's just Meghan Ernest. Markle, but it wasn't just Meghan Ernest. Markle. It was you other people who had concerns. Ernest. You do have to be careful when you speak spew more lies, unfortunately, because 57,000 people... Weren't you not spewing lies I'm about to explain News? what you just said was wrong, a lie. 57,000... Or you're going to give your interpretation. If you're going to let me answer the question, 57,000... Go ahead, Piers. Ernest, 57,000 people complained to Ofcom, the TV regulator, and guess what? Correct. Five months later, every one of the complaints was thrown out and Ofcom found in my favour to have my right to free speech and freedom of expression. But I come back to my initial point about you. You repeatedly tweeted to many people that I'm a racist, and I'm simply asking you to I name, you to name one you single comments. comment... Do, Ernest, do, one do single you know, comment you know I've ever made... between racist comments? So, did I say a racist tirade? What was it? I felt like your attacking of Meghan Markle was racially biased. Oh, you felt like and I it. I believe You felt that like it. it was your feeling. I felt that way. It was your feeling that I'm a racist, was it? I felt like what you did was racially insensitive. I never said verbatim on Twitter that you were a racist. I said you uh, made racist actually, remarks. Actually, you just said, said you enjoying how tirade, folks keep getting Piers Morgan together for his racist tirades. We're actually looking at your yes. tweet now, Ernest. And there were plenty more. In fact, while I'm talking to you, we'll dig the others out. Let's go and dig them out, folks. Um... Here's my point, Ernest. The reason that people think 
that I may have had a racist connotation to my criticism of Meghan Markle is because people like you, high-profile uh -huh. black people in America, kept saying that without any evidence. And now I've got you on so my you, show. So you're blaming, I'm finally so you're able to ask you, why did you tell lies about, about me? You're blaming the black guy? I'm not blaming the black guy. Huh? I'm blaming you as a high-profile black man for claiming wrongly well, and yeah, defensively you said that I was guy. racist in my motivation towards my did. criticism of Meghan Markle. Which, to be clear, my criticism of her and Prince Harry is I think they both tell lies. They both recently said they didn't mean to call the royal family racist when but we heard them say it about with their Meghan own Markle mouths that was on national more, television. Far, far so my point to you, you Ernest, is you Harry. can say these things... You could say these things on Twitter, but when you're actually you held to account you for them, about Meghan Markle, you don't, and look at the, you don't the have impact any evidence to support you what you're saying. You have a bigger saying. platform than me, and you've attacked Meghan Markle and it's impacted her mental health, and I feel like someone like me, as a black person, defending her as an innocent black woman in that situation, I felt like I was standing up for her. You need to be accountable for your impact and your power. Oh, I stand you by everything platform, I said. You have a big influence, and you're trying to play a victim. I stand by... What you oh, did I'm to not Meghan a victim. Markle, and it was disrespectful. No, no, Ernest... I'm not a victim and I'm not a Are racist. You a victim? Are you a victim, Pierce? Ernest, I'm not a victim and I'm not a racist. I'm somebody who listened to that. I never called you racist. I said I listened you make to racist the Winf Just let me finish speaking. I, I listened to the Oprah Winfrey show. I watched it. And I identified immediately a number of lies. And I said that on air the next morning. Other guests disagreed with me and you were delighted about the way they came after me and that's fine. But then you said I was racist repeatedly. That my criticism other comments, was racist, Pierce, Pierce, ra on, racially Pierce. motivated. You're being intellectually dishonest. You did not just say she was a liar. You questioned other aspects of her mental health. No, no, you I said I didn't other believe aspects them. of it as offensive. Repeat what you said. I said I didn't. Repeat what you said. I said I didn't believe her. Why? Because there is no evidence to support the claims that she made. She said she went to a senior. So, so her expressing I'm about what to tell you, to her, Ernest, she felt was no evidence. Ernest, I'm about to tell you. What I said. She said she went to a senior member of Buckingham Palace staff and said she was feeling suicidal, and that member of staff said she couldn't get help. That story doesn't reappear in Harry's 415 page book and has never been substantiated by anybody else, nor has it been repeated by Megan Markle. You didn't know that when you so said I, I'm that. I'm afraid. Though, but you did not know that when you said Sorry, that. Sorry, I didn't believe it. It didn't sound true. And by the way, but why? I'm allowed. But why you didn't believe it? Ernest. Why, Ernest, you're allowed to, so, so you're allowed to Ernest, believe that she's lying, and I can believe that what you said was racially biased. I'm allowed to disbelieve her. And I'm allowed to believe allowed that what you said Prince was racially biased. And I'm also allowed to disbelieve you when you call me a racist, because it's wrong. I and you call, shouldn't I do it. You was, I said that you made racist remarks. I did not call you a racist, Pierce. You're trying to make yourself a martyr in a situation that you started. Mm. You didn't have to go disrespectful below the belt with Megan. You chose to do that. And I now you're to, mad I because chose other to people criticize disagree with her. you. For what I thought was a disgusting attack on the British royal family. You yeah, made ad hominem attacks against her character. You assassinated her character before the British press. And you know how the tabloids have uh, been towards I've her. Been just you understood what you were doing. I've been just as scathing, if not more so, against Prince Harry, who I actually think is more to blame. Didn't you... Now, I want to know if this is true. Ask, riddle me this. Wasn't there a point in time where at least you tried to pursue a relationship with her? You Absolute all had history before all of this happened? No, absolute nonsense. Okay, that was Another nonsense. lie. It's another lie. I met her once okay. in my life. Okay. Okay. What do you mean, okay? We found more tweets while we were I talking to asked. you. Are you calling me a British media racist darling? What does that mean, Ernest? What does that mean? It means that you have always, you have recently chosen, lately in your career, for whatever reason, you went the road of basically baiting into a lot of the biased coverage of Meghan Markle. Absolutely. And a lot of it has you been see, this is a, problem, a lot of uh, it Ernest. has been targeted towards her in a biased way. And, and, and come on, can you admit that the coverage around Meghan Markle has been racially biased? Can no, you admit that? Absolutely not. Not, not talking no. about your work. No, I think but it's in good, general. I think it's another load of absolute hogwash. Nonsense. So you're dismissing the role of race in all of this. You don't think none of this has a role I'm in the I'm saying the British media the British media has never been racist about Meghan Markle. And okay, never, that's just a lie. And it, we, it's we, not we're a gonna lie. agree to disagree. It's not we're a gonna lie. It's agree a fact. disagree. It's a fact. No, it's not. What is a lie? No, it's not. What is a lie, Ernest, is you telling people repeatedly, I'm a racist, and then you can't produce any evidence other than it's I your said feeling. you made a racist tirade. 
Yeah. And you're and you're and you're offended, but but here's the thing: you're offended. blaming me for the criticism. I'm not offended. You said you're blaming me as a out, high influential black I'm person. I'm calling out American, your lies. And by the way, it has nothing again. You're blaming me for your criticism. It has nothing to do with your skin color, Ernest. I don't care. But you I literally said you, you said I was a black influential person. You named my race. You said you're a black influential person, and that's yes. why people thought that way. I think when so why high did you profile, bring my race into it? I think when high profile black people like you. Go public on Twitter. Okay, high-profile black people go, like me. Like go you, ahead. go public on Twitter and call me a racist. People like you went public people, on Meghan Markle. Continue. People believe, people believe it. And you know what? It's a it's a. And people believe what you said lie. about Meghan Markle or no? It's a lie. Anyway, ah. we've got to leave it there, and it's been lovely catching up with you.